shoppers have flocked to the reasonably priced Acura MDX for years due to its strong resale value and reputation for reliability. The 2016 MDX boasts numerous updates, including a standard 9-speed automatic transmission and a widely available Acura H Plus bundle that provides cutting-edge safety technologies. Add the MDX's rewarding driving dynamics to the mix and you're looking at one of the best picks for a three-row luxury crossover SUV this year. Notably, the Acura H Plus package isn't completely new, although it does mark the debut of both rear cross-traffic alerts and camera-based lane-keeping assist system that Acura calls Road Departure Mitigation. Many of its features were offered on the 2015 MDX-2, including lane departure and blind spot warning systems, adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation system with automatic braking. In order to get them, however, you had to specify the top-of-the-line advance package, whereas Acura H Plus is available across the lineup. That means safety-minded consumers can save a hefty chunk of change for 2016 by specifying Acura H Plus on lower price MDX models. On the road, the 2016 Acura MDX remains one of the more satisfying three-row crossovers to drive, with a quiet interior at highway speeds and surprising athleticism when driving around turns especially with all-wheel drive. The standard 3.5-liter V6 engine lacks the strong low RPM torque of some turbocharged rivals, but wind it out a bit and you'll find that the MDX is still one of the quicker vehicles out there. Had it all up and this versatile, well-made and feature-packed Acura is arguably the most sensible choice in the mid-size luxury SUV segment. As such, we gave it an A rating. But know that there are other options out there that can be more desirable, if not more sensible. The 2016 Volvo XC90, redesigned at long last, has wowed us with its slick styling, exquisite interior and strong yet fuel-efficient power plants. When similarly equipped, it also offers similar value to the MDX. The overhauled 2016 body Q7, meanwhile, has a more restrained design, but it offers a sumptuous cabin, an advanced infotainment interface and an available turbo cell V6. Other popular picks include the BMW X5, which serves up the most engaging performance of the bunch but has less third row space and a substantially higher price. The Infiniti QX60 is well equipped and spacious but is comparatively slow and unexciting to drive. We would also be remiss if we didn't mention the redesigned 2016 Honda Pilot, which gives up little to its pricier Acura corporate cousin, while being less expensive and offering even more utility. All are worth a look, but the well-rounded MDX may represent the best balance of value, utility and luxury of them all. But its styles trim levels, and options the 2016 Acura MDX is a luxury crossover SUV that seats 7. Standard features include 18-inch wheels, automatic LED headlights, heated mirrors, the power lift gate, a sunroof, rear privacy glass, keyless entry and ignition, heated 8-way power front seats with driver power lumbar driver memory settings the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, leather upholstery, tri-zone automatic climate control and an auto beaming rear view mirror. Technology highlights include twin dashboard displays, lower 7-inch touch screen and upper 8-inch information display, a multi-angle rear view camera, Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity. Siri Eyes free voice controls for compatible Apple devices and an 8-speaker sound system with a Siri player, an IPO slash USB interface, Pandora and AHA compatibility and satellite, radio, 
The Acura H Plus package adds a forward collision mitigation system with automatic braking, lane keeping assist, road departure mitigation and adaptive cruise control. The MDX technology available with or without the Acura H Plus package adds the navigation system, voice controls navigation and audio the color driver information center. Acura Link and a 10 speaker Acura Slash L's surround sound audio system with HD radio. Also included with this package are 19 inch alloy wheels, rain sensing wipers, rear door keyless entry, GPS link and solar sensing climate control and a trio of safety systems, lane departure warning. Blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert and a forward collision warning system but without the automatic mitigation braking that's part of the Acura H package. The entertainment trim level requires the technology package and adds the 110 volt power outlet, heated rear seats, rear door window sunshades and a rear seat DVD entertainment system with a 9 inch screen and an additional speaker. Acura H Plus is again available for this MDX combination. The advanced trim level includes the contents of the technology and the Acura H Plus package, and it adds roof rails, front and rear parking sensors, remote engine start, automatic engine stop start, auto dimming side view mirrors, upgraded leather upholstery, ventilated front seats, power lumber for the front passenger and heated second row seats. You can also get the advance and entertainment trim level, which combines the respective features of those two lower trim levels while adding an upgraded rear seat entertainment system with a bigger 16.2 inch screen, another speaker bringing the total to 12 and an HDMI input. Power trains and performance The 2016 Acura MDX employs a 3.5-liter V6 engine that produces 290 horsepower and 267 pound-feet of torque. A 9-speed automatic transmission is standard, as is front-wheel drive, with all-wheel drive SHAWD available as an option. EPA estimated fuel economy starts at 22 miles per gallon combined 19 city slash 27 highway with front wheel drive. Adding the advanced package with its auto stop start feature to the front wheel drive MDX bumps the rating up to 23 miles per gallon combined 20 city slash 27 highway. As for the AWD models, they return 21 miles per gallon combined 18 over 26 in standard form and 22 miles per gallon combined 19 over 26 with the advanced package. In Edmunds testing, the 2016 MDX with SHAWD went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, making it a solid, mid-pack performer. Properly equipped the MDX can't go up to 5,000 pounds. Safety standard safety equipment for the 2016 Acura MDX includes anti-lock disc brakes, traction and stability control, front seat side airbags, a driver knee airbag, side curtain airbags and active front head restraints. The rear view camera is also standard and a WD model come with a stabilizing function for trailer towing. Optional or standard, depending on the trim level, are blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, a frontal collision warning system, automatic braking for frontal crash mitigation, a lane departure warning system, lane keeping assist and road departure mitigation. The latter essentially combines the functions of the camera-based lane keeping system and the automatic braking system to help you avoid drifting off the road into roadside objects. In Edmunds brake testing, an MDX required 122 feet to stop from 60 miles per hour, which is a decent stop, but it displayed brake fade on subsequent stops. This could be an issue on mountain roads and grades. In government crash tests, 
the MDX earned a perfect 5-star overall rating, with 5 stars each for total frontal impact safety and total side impact safety. The MDX also aced the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's crash tests, earning the top score of good in all categories and additionally garnering a second-best advanced rating for its optional frontal collision mitigation system. Interior design and special features The Acura MDX is one of the more functional luxury crossovers. Its front seats are nicely shaped and supported even if it lacks the extra adjustability offered by certain competitors in the segment. The second row seats slide fore and aft for added flexibility, providing generous leverage in their rearmost position. It also slides forward for third row access at the press of a button, though the resulting pass-through is rather small, especially compared to the Infiniti QX60. The third row is best suited for kids, as only small, limber adults will fit back there, but that's actually pretty good for a luxury 7-passenger SUV. If you want something bigger, you'll have to go for a non-luxury model. Interior storage is excellent, with big cup holders and door bins, plus a deep center bin that can hold a small purse or tablet. The MDX doesn't give you much room for groceries with all three rows of seating been used, but folding those rearmost seats opens up a respectable amount of space suitable for lengthy road trips. When you fold both the second and third rows, its maximum cargo capacity is better than most to roll mid-size crossovers, but considerably less than in mainstream models like the 2016 Honda Pilot. The MDX's cabin is meticulously well constructed with quality materials, but it lacks the style and luxurious ambience of competitors like the Lexus RX and Volvo XC60. It just feels less special.